Hello, you beautiful party, party people, and welcome back in my YouTube friendarinos to some Let's Play Civ Six. And we have, uh, we have the 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 ride of the cavalry. Is that a thing? That's coming. That's happening. Let's press next and upgrade all of our troops, shall we? This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a good old time. Uh oh, so as soon as they're coming, um, you know, I'm just gonna ignore that. That uh, nothing, nothing to see here. Move along, move along. And how he intends to conduct. So one thing with warring a sieve like Scythia, and whether or not I actually remember to do this when we get there, is you might as well pillage all of her tile improvements here. Um, you don't get to keep them when you inherit her cities. Um, and yeah, it's just free economy. If you if you have the movement, if you have the time, um, <clears throat> it's it. It's a little bit awkward to do when we're trying to maximize the first 10 turns of this war. Um, but yeah, you should do it. You should you should be you should be pillaging as much as possible when it comes to that sort of thing. Oh, excuse me. Um, all right. We've got our Yep, that all looks good. And did we get this guy nice next turn? Perfect. Uh, we can just let that happen organically, although we could probably afford it no problem. One of the great, great many benefits of CQUI is this little screen, and I don't think we have to be particularly picky about which ones we upgrade. I think we've got plenty of money. Plenty of money. So archers, 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 archers. Boom. And then there's this one guy. Can you... There we go. All right. You too. I don't know how I missed you. Cool. With a little money to spare. Um. Oh, where are you? Oh, you're not in my borders either. All righty. There we go. Cynthia sitting pretty, pretty, she's looking pretty good with her military numbers there. Um, so this may not be like a hot knife through butter. Um, it may be like a uh, wet knife through uh, horse hair. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. What else are we going to need? Um... Probably just head towards tanks and upgrade our Varu. Could, of course, uh, pre-build some Bombards. Um, Bombards are great at this stage of the game, um, especially had we leveled them up. But I think I think we're it's past we're we're past our past our window for that to be particularly interesting. Wow, turn 152 in a Coliseum just sitting here, just sitting here. How dare it? How dare it? Let's check our city overlap lens and see what we're missing out on. Nothing too ludicrous. Nothing too ludicrous. Obviously, any Coliseum better than no Coliseum. And uh, certainly any overlap will get better as we take some cities here, which will happen next turn. Um, do we want to keep building cavalry? Do we have any reason to be building units here? I suppose we could get some catapults, level them up to bombards, and go sit them on uh, Vicky's borders, and maybe make that type of a thing happen faster. Um, but I have a feeling the one thing we may want is a second battering ram. Or a third battering ram? Yeah, third battering ram. Nothing but elephants and bows in the north. So, what do we want then? Um, what are great people looking like? Don't need much. Truly don't. I think I might just run some commercial hub investments. Maximize our money. Um, we're kind of just sitting pretty. I guess we could build an armory in two turns. Okay. Right with that. Other cities, uh, on the other hand, should have plenty to do. Sure, get a water mill and that. Ooh. 
The old offline follows. Uh, hello, hello to whoever just followed the channel. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I usually mute those, and today I forgot. Yeah, water mills when we have when we when we do have uh, housing capacity are fine. I don't think they're particularly efficient, but I'm kind of not super super interested in uh, microing these cities that much at this point. Oh dear. Cool. Let it take flip to me. Nice. All right. So here's our general. Won't get all the way down there this turn, but we can absolutely. Uh, oh God! No, I forgot to denounce. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who caught that at the end of last video? I bet a lot of people. I bet a lot of people. Now the one thing we can do. We could declare a war on someone else and declare a war on her anyways. Or we can save that declaration for um, for when we run out of gas here. Let's see what we can do with our elephants up here. No more, no more troops coming out of that city. Um, well, no more, no more of Saladin's troops, at the very least. Get down there. Yeah. Oh, that's what your builder was for. It's to chop that so I can get a theater square. Yeah, okay. We'll get another one. Why not? Yeah, just not a lot of interest for me to uh, keep micromanaging these, these guys. That's obviously kind of a foolish buy since we don't have the extra charges on it. Uh, but I just want these things to happen. I want them to happen quickly. We go scout. We can scout, I guess, and just uh, <laughs> scout with some horses. We'll do the old pincer maneuver. That's right. <clears throat> okay, so we didn't actually waste anything there. Uh, we'll want a campus here, but I will chop for, chop for it. What this? Cool. The more science intervenes in warfare, the more will be the need for engineers in the field armies. In the late war, there were never enough sappers at any time. Bring in the battering ram up there just in case the AI can really uh, sneak out some sneak out some units pretty darn quick or some walls rather units too. Discovered some niter we have built upon it. That's fine. Okay, I do want that armory now. Six turns away. Could maybe save some science. Sure. Just gonna sit nearby. Check that. Plus three campus.
I'm going to denounce Vicky too. I think we could do, do all this in one swoop. Well, maybe not, uh, maybe not Indonesia. Still worried about this uh, little sneaky religious victory, I guess, a little bit. Without mathematics, there's nothing you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Oh, that's where she is. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so everybody is kind of close from here on out. Um, our lack of scouting not punishing us too hard, which always is nice. But again, have Magnus here. I'm aware. I'm aware, but I think speeding through this part of the game uh, makes a lot of sense. Sitting on knights too. Cool, yeah. These guys can come in from this direction. That's quite, quite fine with me. Two turns. Sounds good. We'll just do that for generals, depending depending on how all this goes. I mean, we can hopefully wrap it up before we need our next major um, kind of like breakpoint of units. Um, one of the things I'm most excited about in the, uh, the the expansion that's coming up is the fact that we are getting some uh, intermediate units. Um, and that is much appreciated. I should have just moved and done a different thing here. Oh, well. It is okay. When are you mine? Eight turns. This is turn one. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I am a firm believer in grabbing whatever gold you can uh, before before you declare war, but four gold, that's not going to do it for me. All right, so this is actually a really good scientist for us to get in this type of a game, particularly when we've been using heavy cavalry. A um, couple Eurekas is great, but also revealing the oil is a big deal. Um, whether or not you choose to go settle on it at that point or not, whatever... We've got time before we need tanks, but oil is really kind of tricky uh, the way it works because you need to discover it. Then you need to get here for the oil well. You need to get to here for the off the uh, offshore one. So this needs to be land oil um, before you do tanks. Otherwise, you have to get all the way to plastics, uh, and that's a lot of tech. It is a lot, a lot of tech um, that you need before you get to that point. So I'm a big fan of the scientist uh, for domination victories specifically. Couple boosts and ooh, speaking of settling on oil, yes. So this is exactly where you'd go over here, bring a settler, drop him down, and settle there. Uh, and we may have to do that. Uh, I'm not really sure um, how this is going to go. But we'll see. Trader and a university there. <clears throat> it's a pretty good little city. Go there. And I don't know how to count yet again. Uh, next turn. Okay, that's what I thought. So much happens in these uh, turns. And, and, and I, I get that feedback a lot in, in that, like, the late game is tedious. I agree. Especially in a domination victory. This is probably why it's not, like, my favorite type of victory like i really like the early side of it um and 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 like positioning but like closing out a uh cl closing out a, a domination game can really become tiresome uh at, at some points i hope i don't lose this unit if you doubled it double attacked me there we'd, we'd be in bad shape all right, we don't need these cards anymore. We can get those builder charges back in there just in case. We could also just take economy stuff, um, which might be just fine. Hmm. 
Mm. Let's run raid again. Let's run raid. We're, we're, we're running out of stuff to do with our builders. We did a really good job at getting a bunch of builders um, in the last few sessions here. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Sorry. So next turns when our movement and such kicks in. Um, so. Chichen over there. I don't want to leave this. Um, battering ram unguarded. Some night cores. That's a uh, that's a bit scary. So, yeah. Oh, no, we don't have the movement for it. Want to pay attention to the pillaging. Um, one, because we're running the card, and two, for what I just said about, like, you, you should probably be pillaging her, her stuff. There's something we can pillage. Provided you have the movement, which isn't always the case. Ooh, we found somebody. We only have two envoys to send there, so it's not really going to make a dent at the moment. But that's still rather exciting. All right, out of movement. Take that city next turn. Yeah, cavalry. Cavalry are pretty good. Did take an attack. That's okay. You moved into positioning that hurt you. That's good for me. Oh, I was going to say that might be too much. We lost a unit. We may, we may have our cap just start building um, units as well. It's okay to trickle them in here, I think. If we're smart, um, we won't lose too many. But sometimes we're not smart. I'd rather kill units than pillage right now. For sure. Well, it's not a bad little dent. Sure, do that. Yeah, I don't even think I want the military academy. I think we just uh, we just start building, building some calves, trickling them in. Shall be good. Campus holy site over there. Meh. 
One gold or the production. I'll take the production. Jeez. These AI cities, man. Never have anything. All right, we may lose another unit this turn, which would be a bit sad. I think I'd rather just heal. Like, this is going to be ours soon, and then we'll pressure these um, loyalty-wise and stuff. I saw a bank that said 24-hour well. banking. But I didn't have that much time. Should be fine. All right, so that uh, helps get some science. F pillaging for 50 science is quite nice. That's going to be done, what, next turn? Yeah. Cool. 86 of 96. Don't, don't split it. Split your damage. Split it. Ooh, nice. All right. All righty. One of the few things that would really draw me into multiplayer is just the the like because there's it's such a cool Civ is such a cool like chess game I guess and uh, like playing it against actual people um, would be awesome because there's so much cool strategy that could be implemented. So boom! That gets us faith, which we like. You, I kind of want to bone out. Get out of here. Get out of here. Want to be very cautious. Very cautious with these units. Um, it'd be nice to secure this city real quick before we bite off more than we can chew. I, I probably should have been a little bit more focused um, and just like have like a defending army uh, to, to, to back up what we were doing kind of aggressively there. I don't really think there's a downside with that attack, though. Takes down the rest of the walls. Now what do we do with this guy? Who wants to end their turn here? If anybody does, they probably die is the problem. Same with this. Well, you could probably do it. Try to keep him distracted here, maybe. Meanwhile, we bring down the battering ram and take a promotion here. That's the other thing is these guys are not promoted at all. Um, this is a lot of pre-building new units. I'm going to defend over pillage. Unit health, like as good as the pillaging is, and I do think it's good. Um, doesn't mean we need to be willy-nilly. Or anybody else named Nilly, I don't know. Seems bad. What did I build you for? <laughs> You've got stuff to do. Why are you asking? Go away. Go away, I say. Okay. I just like fortifying those guys. If, if we ever do get to tanks, they're going to be quite upgraded. Oh, dear. I just went through a free city, didn't I? Don't we have coinage, though? No. We went the other route. That's right. Playing too many different games of Civ. I can't keep track of it all. No, I'm not trading you that. All right, cool. Killed himself. Eh, 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 nope. Oh, oh, that was a plus three one too, wasn't it? Ugh. Uh. 
even need the third attack. Bring up the general. Yeah, that was an unfortunate loss. I'm trying to be as careful as I can here. I think over here what we want to do is just defend. Like on this side of the... Actually, why don't, why don't we bring you heal up super fast? And this is why people love cavalry. The movement's nuts. It's really, really good. Okay. Don't have a lot of interest in taking this attack, but this guy ought to. Do it from away from where his units are. Use the river to our advantage. There are the promotions. Man is a military animal. Glories in gunpowder and loves parades. Double flanking bonus. Attack there and there. That way we end away from this guy. And in some defensible terrain. Like, that's really nice. Especially because we're getting faith from the pillages too. I am a big fan of that. Just splitting up the promotions. No real rhyme or reason. Okay. See even your tile it is. Okay. Can we finish you off? I'm gonna try. Yay, we did it. Uh do we bother keeping this city? Like, it's honestly just another thing for me to manage somehow. <laughs> just gonna say bye bye. See ya. Rebellion, four turns. We can certainly move a governor down here. The uh, temple is surrounded by a well, That'll help, actually. And access is by a single bridge, protected by two stone tigers so grand and fearsome as to strike terror into the visitor. Cool. Free housing and pop in all cities. Um, that will, will allow us to hold on to this uh, more more reasonably. Let's just bring Victor, because it doesn't matter. No. Garrison somebody for sure, though, um, just to help with that loyalty. Again, we want to be careful, but I do want to eliminate troops whenever possible. That guy's at risk again and is a plus three. Go over 
here, pillage, and then also take down the rest of the walls. Very nice. Uh, I think I want that to be the last attack. Why don't we... That and then that. Lovely. Not sure if we missed any pillages there. We probably did, but I want to grab the city so that we don't we don't lose this one on a loyalty flip. Here are some nice pillage opportunities. And again, we don't really have to finish her off. We just want to like point our army towards capitals and we can wrap this up. Wrap it up. Part of me hopes that that doesn't happen and we can just get to tanks and something fun. But these are nice theater squares now. Yeah, I don't really care about the errant step well. I'd rather get that down, get some trade routes going. Ooh, do we have potato there? Oh, Forbidden City. Sweet. Duh. Duh. All right, let's do this for science. Not a ton. I mean, those, those elephants were not totally irrelevant. Yeah, we lost that that three promo again. Cause I'm bad. Fuse. Don't need it. Don't need it. Alright. So we can finally keep this guy. Cool. Um, and yeah, you'll just eventually loyalty flip to me. I don't think there's anything over there. I suppose we could hit this. Is there wait, is there a city state there? Please tell me there is. Uh, I get so much crap from my lack of scouting, and it's well-deserved. I don't really want the city to do anything. Just just give me science or gold or whatever you got, city. Give it to me. Oh, well, we, we probably will get to tanks, meaning I should, I should value a settler here, and they're very, very cheap, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab it and uh, settle the oil. Um, the reason you want to settle it is because you get it automatically um, versus having to actually put an oil well on there. And while that isn't a super big deal since this is, um, you know, close and stuff, like we could absolutely like same like the turn you get combustion, have a builder sitting on it and stuff. It's just easier. It's just easier to settle on it. Pillaged. Uh... I kind of just want to pull these guys back. Let him come to me. Break. The, we'll we'll break the units. Um. And then we'll go finish the city. And we'll just we'll just fortify and defend. Let let our let our troops heal up for a turn or two. So yeah, no longer losing that. That's nice. Obviously, the extra movement um, doesn't feel as crazy at this stage of the game using using actual mobile units, uh, but it's still pretty nuts. There's another one over there. 
No movement for it, though. Yeah, let's um, let's bring our general over with these guys, and we'll kind of we'll work our way this way, and then wrap around back north, if at all. I suppose we do want this city. It's got Jebel and stuff. It's not too bad. Are you in danger of losing that one? No. No, not really. Okay. There's a city for us. Yeah. Liang's not super important. Let's just move her over here. get some banks. The rest of our economy can just be bad, and that's okay. Oh yeah, I was supposed to uh, look for the city-state. It also could just be an English city. It did take some damage. Boom. Now we have oil. Oh, and I can do your beloved... Oh, double oil. I didn't even notice that. I can do your beloved harbor and uh, commercial love combo. That's so exciting. Oh, we absorb this guy now? Nice. Nice. Happy about that. And loyalty flipping is happening. This is a pop 12 city, um, so it's kind of important. They have a battering ram. These guys have one as well. It's kind of fun going into war, like not having no idea like where you're supposed to go because of our, our uh, lack of vision. It's pretty great. There you go. I'm going to force you to grow. That way you won't loyalty flip on me. Oh, you're a lake and a coast. Organisms don't think of CO2 as a poison. Well, that's nice. Plants and organisms that make shells, coral, think of it as a building block. Why not queue a builder? There has to be something better for you. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. All right, we will do our best to steal some money. All right, let's bring in some reinforcements. It's not quite ready. That we can pillage. That we can pillage. Let's wait for our battering ram. <laughs> we will settle where we please. Ow. 
Let's take the promo first. Uh, next turn we can pillage there. Her uh, her military is nothing, by the way. That oh, that thousand military strength was just hung up uh, with her knights. How are you? There we go. Ooh. Encampment there. Um, okay. Let's go there. You come up there. I'm pretty good. You can snag a couple more trade routes in the process. We'll be happy. Probably saving for tanks at this point. Bye, Walls. Nice. Made it. Oh, you're a free city. Yeah, so you're a stupid English city. That's what I thought. I'm like, yeah, I don't think that was a city-state. I also wouldn't have been super surprised if it was. I'll go Banks. Banks seem good. So that's for sure a free city. So we'll bring you back. Can you inherit? Wait. <gasps> Philosophy. Can you inherit? Can you inherit a city that you can't see? Hashtag profound. Have the healthy ones take some attacks here. Mm. Same mentality. I'm going to bring you around. Attack from that side. Just not expose any of our remaining calves. They should be enough to... Uh, well, again, I'm not sure about Katara. She might have... Like, if she has infantry or, or anything next level, um, we'll be a little bit sad. Yeah. <laughs> Seems good. <laughs> let's just let's just kill all the units. Darn it. <laughs> that one you killed, really? Let's get on our knees and pray. I don't know to whom. Is there a patron? Oh, because the yeah, 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 okay. That makes some sense. Let's get that one down. I suppose. Done. Uh, what does this city actually do? It has a commercial life. Okay. Who cares?
pillaged all these buildings. Unbelievable. All right, we do another little round of healing up here. You know, don't really need you. Yeah, I'm going to say, I think I'd rather have you towards that front. You're there. I'm going to turn you guys into tanks at some point. A little tank, elephant tank uh, conversion party. Ow. Oh, nice. We lived it. Okay. Good stuff. Cool. Another golden age, of course. Uh, very easy to chain golden ages together when you're doing warmonger stuff. Um, this is a pretty easy coinage. Just for money. Obviously running out of international uh, cities because we're taking them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, even if we get a couple of them off, it's it's pretty darn good. Oh, and we have nationalism, so we can start merging these guys should we want to. I don't think we want to quite yet. I'd rather like produce more that we can get free upgrades off of effectively. You up there, why don't you come here? Did she get a golden age or something? All right, up to mobilization for armies. Then what? What do you want? Yeah. Even a three charge builder can be useful. When you have so many cities, you have the options. So get over here, Monty. I've got loyalty issues. Oh, dang. And uh, that's going to, you know what? That's going to have to wrap up this video. Uh, man, these, these, these really fly by. It's interesting recording just for you guys instead of like with chat and stuff. It's it's uh I really kind of it's, it's nice. I, I I lose myself in the sieve in a way that I can't unstream. So it is a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying it. Um and thanks thanks for uh, hanging out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.